You were expecting a Hey Guys from here. Well, I'm not doing that today. Go vote for me in Football Content Awards right now. We've got seven more days of the TDL to destroy the vote. You vote, get your parents to vote, get your sister to vote, get your uncle to vote. You don't. Thogden, your cat. Right guys, welcome back to a brand new video now today. Although we start off on a happy note, we've got a little bit more of a sad topic to speak about. And if you haven't been keeping up to the news, the League One table has been finished on a point per game basis, which means Bolton Wanderers are going to be relegated into the fourth tier League Two football for us next year. Yeah, look, it was inevitable, wasn't it? I think all Bolton fans knew this was going to happen. And my view on this is quite philosophical. 41,000 people have died in this country. we got a recession yeah. coming. Yeah. I'm not going to cry about Bolton going down. It's a good point, Dad, but you know what? Like, we are a big club and we've been in the Premier League for so many years. Now we're in the lowest professional league. We're in a tier that we shouldn't be in. We're yeah. too big of a club. We've got a massive ground of 28,000 fans that can fit. Yeah. And we're in the fourth tier in English football. I've supported Bolton 45 years. Yeah. I've seen some great highs and some really bad lows. Yeah. Next season, we start on zero points. Now, yeah. that's a luxury. Last season, minus 12 points. Exactly. People said it was a fresh start last year. No, it was not. No. We stayed at no, minus 12 point deductions. We had our first seven games with the youth. Yeah. We literally played people my age against full strength teams. And on top of that, we only had one day to sign players and a manager who had no pre-season. No way was that a fresh start. The real fresh start is in League 2, and I'm buzzing for that. But yeah. Thog, Dad, you've got a fresh trim. And so have you, Thin. Oh, so have I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I tell you what, I love Christian, our yeah. barber. What Shout out to the Italian barber who sorted us right out. We've got two fresh trims for today's video. Let's speak about League 1. Yeah. What are the teams that have been promoted, Dad? It is Coventry and Rotherham, isn't Congratulations it? Congratulations to both of them. I saw yeah. Coventry City fans were having a party in the town centre. It looked class. And you know what? For a team like Coventry City, who have had their financial problems like yeah. Bolton, to see the success on their end is so nice. You know I, what I mean? I am genuinely so pleased for Cov, so yeah. well done, lads. And for Rotherham too, you know, yeah. they're back in the championship. I wish both of them the best of luck. Let's speak about the teams that are relegated. Of course we're relegated. Yeah. Who else is relegated? Thong it Daddy. is Tranmere and Southend. So obviously it was done in a points per game table. Tranmere went down on something like a 0 0.04 points yeah. off. And the reason they went down is because they lost to us when they went to our place. Yeah. They lost three points. Chris O'Grady scored and knocked them down the division. If they had at least got a point from that game, against bottom of the table Bolton Wanderers, then they would be up in the league right now. It's a bit of a mad one for Tranmere. Yeah. Southend, Sol Campbell being the manager, they were, they were due to go down. Yeah, but you know this points per game thing? I know Peterborough are crying a little bit. Barry Fry's having a right whinge. Yeah, but, you know, speak about that, Dad. Sunderland and Peterborough, just like one point off playoff yeah. spots, two points off like getting automatics. Apparently how the League One table is going to end is they're going to have a playoff game. Yes. Um, and Sunderland and Posh missed out one point. Even though we're in the fourth tier, I'm buzzing for the new ways. And yeah. it brings me on to it. Shall we go through every single League Two club and talk about how we're going to look forward oh, to them yeah. playing them or whether we've been to the stitch? Should we do that? Let's do that. Let's do that. The Tramia Rovers. Buzzing to play them. We played them again. They see it as a derby. Always a fierce match. Up. Tramir, I hope I get a better pint next year. Ooh. Southend United. That was a great away day a couple of seasons ago. When uh, we got promoted to yes. the championship. Yeah, that was a great time. Cheltenham Town. Uh... I just know them for the races. Better known for the races. Yeah. It's actually a gorgeous little town. So I think some Bolton Buzzing fans will have a cheeky little weekend down there. Exeter City. Buzzing for this one. A new ground for me. I've always wanted to go Exeter City away. They've, they've actually had players like Ampadu in the past. That's going to be a cheeky weekend in Devon. I'm going to meet my mate Ryan down there. It's yeah. going to be amazing. Colchester United. It's in Essex, isn't it? Yeah, new away game yeah. in Essex. Can't complain. Northampton Town. We've done this one before. Zach Clough got a good goal. It was a decent away day. We won away from home, so I can't complain. Now, hopefully, another three points next year. Port Vale. And that is a massive game. Now, yeah. if you don't remember the season we went up from League One to Championship, we basically got a massive away win against them, and it basically secured us going up yeah. uh, with like a David Wheat, a header. It was limbs in the away end, and the Port Vale fans kicked off. Another one of those clubs you kind of see up, they hate us for some reason. Bradford City. Another one that's a fierce bit of a rivalry. When we play them, it's always a little bit of a, you know what I mean? Especially yeah. when both teams are doing very well at the top. And I've got a feeling that might happen. The last time I went there, it was Bradford City nil, Zenit St. Petersburg 3 in Europe. What the hell? Forest Green Rovers. Ooh. A decent vegan beer and a decent vegan pie. And a sausage roll. Oh, <laughs> I should have said that. Vegan sausage. <laughs> Salford City. This has to be the, the most I'm looking forward to. Bolton kind of have been rivals with United back in the Premier League days. So playing them. This will be the naughtiest derby in Division 2. If I see Gary Neville again. Pff, just quickly, one word for that result for United. Oh, <laughs>
Walsall. If you've never driven past it on the motorway, then you've not <laughs> been to a proper away day. I yeah. didn't find a decent pub either. Yeah, oof. Crawley Town. Not much to say, new away day. We'll tell you how it is on the day. Look Absolutely. out for the vlog, there you yeah. go. Newport County, this is our European away day. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is actually going to be an interesting one. Yeah. Newport have a very good fan base. Turn that into a weekend. Yeah, Wales definitely. is a lovely country. Grimsby Town. Ooh. Fish and chips. Cambridge United. Ooh, we've That's... not done this one before. It's not too far from us. It's a nice part of the world, can't wait. Leighton Orient. Ooh, this one, a London away day. We live in London. I've been to Leighton Orient's ground before. Proper, old school. Being in that away end, fingers crossed taking three points, that would be proper. Carlisle United. That's virtually in Scotland, isn't it? We are going far. It's got a lovely castle and I can't wait. Oldham Athletic, my second team. The reason it's your second team is because you nearly bought them. Yeah. You nearly bought... You Dog Dad is nearly the owner of Oldham Athletic. Last time we played them, they beat us. The winds was crazy. It's a super cold away day, especially if that game's in the winter. Playing against David Wheater, that'll be an odd one. <laughs> Unless he's playing for us, because I'm sure there's some sort of clause. I don't know. Yeah, Wheater, yeah. we want you back. Scunthorpe. Another new away day. Looking forward to it. Mansfield Town. It's going to be crazy seeing Bolton Wanderers going away to Mansfield Town, but... <laughs> and games like that, it's a good northern away day. Yeah. You're going to get 2,000 Bolton fans coming over for that. It's going to be brilliant. Morecambe. Ooh. Just down the road from Lancaster. I cannot wait for this one. Yeah, I mean, we stay at Lancaster. That's where my grandma's from, your mum. Yeah. We always stay there. It's literally round the corner, so yeah. we might even get my nan down to the game. Listen, Granny Chris, if you fancy it. So we'll take Thog Dog for a walk on the beach, we'll get some fish and chips. we get Thog Dog into the ground. Oh, that'd be cheeky, wouldn't it? Morecambe chairman, let him in. <laughs> I wonder if Thog Dog can be the mascot for Bolton that day. Let's make it happen. Who says it can't be a dog? Exactly. Unless they're relegated Macclesfield Town. This is an interesting one. I yeah. think it'll be a great away day, but it looks like they might get a point deduction because their owners are just putting no money into the football club. And obviously right now, where there's no money coming in, it's very hard for them. If they stay up, the Mac lads are having a party. I can't wait. Great beer. Cracking town. See you there. Stevenage. Now they are bottom at the moment. Can only sneak out if Macclesfield get, a point get relegated by the committee. Yeah. Finally, if they get promoted, Barrow. Yeah. If we play them, it'll be crazy that we're going away to a ground like Barrow, but buzzing for it. Yeah. They're on a good run. Good luck to them next season. Can't believe we're playing you, but we are. And Grandad Barry lives just down the road in Grange over Sands, so uh, we'll there stay we with him. Right, that is all the teams done. Now I say we go for a few of the players. Who do you think we should try and hold on to for next season, for the current squad? Well, the thing is, I mean, Dennis Policic and Mohamedou Fall are like yeah. the only players left, aren't they? Well, we've both got contracts on them, so we can have yeah. them in League Two, and I'm telling you right now, Dennis Politic is going to be the best winger yeah. in League Two next season. I'm thinking Remy Matthews could be the best goalkeeper in the division. Yeah. In my opinion. 100%. The likes of Jack Hobbs, Johan Zuma, mm. Luke Murphy, Ali Crawford. I'd like Johan Zuma. I think he would suit League Two, a bit of a physical game. Yeah. The players I really want to focus on holding on to is the youth. The yeah. players like Harry Brockbank, uh, Ronan Darcy, um, you know, Sonny Graham. Connor uh, Hall. You know what? Bolton Wanderers are the biggest club in Division Two. We are. You cannot deny that. Yeah. We've got the best fan base we've got the best ground and if we do the right things in the transfer window yeah. then we can go to every single game thinking three points is yeah. what we want today and it could be the most fun season we've had probably in my lifetime yeah it probably could if we yeah. go to grounds bring three two thousand three thousand volt fans all across the country to wales and even scotland if you count it as carlisle yeah, yeah. if we go there knowing probably knowing like a city that we're going to bag three points with a good team around them. It will be insane. Tell me where you think Bolton will end next season in League Two. EFL, please do not ever vote over again. And owners, if you're watching, <laughs> sign some players. Sign some players, as Bobby says. <laughs> Come on, and Sharon. Hopefully, we can get the players signed in early so we have a proper pre-season because we didn't get that last time. Yeah. Smash the like button. What's the like target today? The like target today is 5,500. We can smash that. Do it for the Bolton lads. Up the TDL. Go smash the Football Content Awards. Thogden. And I'll bring Thog that up if I win. Yeah. Hopefully, I think I <laughs> If I forget two, then I'm sorry. No, I, honestly, I'll, I'll be in a bad way by Yeah, then. he will be. <laughs> if you want to see in the fact that he's in a bad way, then smash the fucking votes. Get the votes up. We've got six days left on a real, guys. So if you could do it now, because it's the end of the video, it would be amazing. And have a great day. See you all later. Bye.